just um, back with another video about this gang stalking stuff, my latest experience, my latest um, discoveries, and yeah, it's, it's pretty full on. You know, you poke through the hole and you have a look through the wall and then you think you see a picture, but then the, the wall keeps breaking away and you, you see through to the other room and you see something else and you think, what's going on here? Now, these, these people that are spying on you and making your life hell through harassment and gang stalking, following you around, sabotaging your property, ruining your property, thieving your property, you know, I'm starting to suspect that they're right-wing extremists and this is why they're able to do what they're able to do because they've got government immunity. And I just watched a video last night of people cornering these agents in the United States and sort of extracting information from them forcefully. And lo and behold, they they, they squeal. They, they tell the entire bloody secret how it works, you know? They give you food vouchers. They give you housing. I mean, just to fuck with people. This is exactly what's going on around the world. You got these unofficial agents, unofficial collaborators who are working for the government, but not officially. So nothing can be traced back to the government if anything turns south. It's pretty annoying how they follow you around. I mean, I was just in one store and, you know, I've noticed this guy everywhere, but I just thought he's just a, someone from the community, a local. But then when he started following me into every single bloody store, I'd go into a store, he'd come in. I'd go into another store, he'd go in. And I've noticed that happening when I've strung up conversation with storekeepers, just having a general conversation, you'd get an agent that will run in to break that conversation so the storekeeper can serve them. And then they, oh, no, we don't want anything. Sorry, you don't have what we have. And they leave. And the storekeeper lets me know, look, they keep coming in and doing that. And I said, look, you know, I've explained to them what's going on. And they believe me. So I'm starting to work out that there are people involved in this and there are people that aren't involved in this and there are people that are helping me and there are people that are screwing me. Okay? So this probably happens to other target individuals worldwide. There's bloody civilian agents everywhere. Everywhere. You got some that just go look out. You got some that follow you around. You got some that hack your computer. You got some that break into your home. I mean, there's got an agent and a spy that can do everything, you know, on call. He's walked out, he's stepped out of his house, go in there quickly, poison his food, drug his food or whatever. Rip whatever you can and leave as fast as you can. Well, you know, and I'll sit in their house and when I'm returning back from the shops, someone will see me walking down the street from their perch and they'll ring up and say, yep, he's almost home, get the fuck out of there. You know? I, I, I've actually identified now a few of these lookouts where they are. But they switch and swap. When you start getting um, a bit suspicious towards them, they'll drop their act and they'll go back to being normal. You know, it's just like a... It's just like a... A sleeper spy, a sleeper... Just sitting there asleep, waiting to be activated. When they get the message or they get the go-ahead, they're on, boom. Then they can turn off just as fast. And you know what? They all have a number one thing. If they get caught, deny everything. Deny everything. Turn it around on the victim. Say that they're mentally ill. Say that they're paranoid. Whatever you can, just palm it off you and onto them. This is their. This is what they're taught by their handlers. This is what they're taught by the people that pass out their their orders. Deny everything. Deniability. Just sit and walk away. Disengage. Be careful, people. Your, your very neighbor could be a spy or your neighbors. Do not think for one second. I know this is paranoid thinking, but you got to not trust anyone in this new world that we're living in. These civilian spies, mate. I'm telling you, life is very tough. People will do things for money. People will do things for a fee because life is very tough at the moment. Okay, so don't put it past anyone. Don't think because that person drives a BMW or, or such and such that they're not going to be involved. You know, they have to make payments back on that BMW or they've got other things that they need to pay. So do not 
put it past anyone. And yeah, most people that are spies are people that are dependent on the government, the system. They rely on them. You know what I mean? So yeah, they give them public housing, food, vouchers, probably cash, probably drugs, you name it. Everyone has an Achilles heel, so whatever they can turn anyone around with, they will. But thank God I don't have an Achilles heel. Well, at least I haven't found it yet, and they haven't twisted it. But I am a human being, and you can tell that I'm showing signs of wear and tear. That's just normal for a target individual. It doesn't mean we're not normal or whatever. The shit that they're, they're, they're putting us through mentally, psychologically, and physically, fuck. You know, we're prisoners of war, literally. POWs. And in my situation, they've sort of encapsulated me in, a, in, in their own matrix, trying to build a, a false reality around me. You know, by ruining my TV, I can't be connected to the outside world. By limiting my, um, my searches on the internet to what they want me to only be researching and know about. I'm not allowed to talk to people. Just sort of, I'm in a world that's inside of a world. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've been encapsulated in their own false matrix. And when this first began, I was talking to a girl on Facebook and I told her, straight up, I knew exactly what they were up to. With enough people, you can alter someone's reality. And she said, how do you know this? It's called fucking intuition, okay? You pick up on people's energy. This is the only reason why I'm probably still alive and with the help of these beings or whatever they are and humanity. You know, it's a, it's a combination of things that have kept me alive, but above all, it's just been my intuition and my sense of energy where I can pick up on energies, whether they're negative or positive or... You know, some of these stalkers, some of these perpetrators don't have energy. I don't pick up on anything. They're blank. There's so many of them that don't have energy. I don't feel it. And... In the beginning, I was quite fright. I was scared of them. I rang up my mum and I was a bit emotional. I'm like, mum, they're not right, these people. They got no energy. I can't pick up on anything. So she goes, why are you, why are you getting like that for? And I said, well, mum, people, a human being that has no energy, that they're not there. That's something not right. They're, they're a clone, a drone. Something's not right. That means they're, they're capable of doing anything. They're a zombie. And we all know what the Nazi zombies done. Okay, people? This is where we're heading. We're heading to another Nazi Germany. Okay? This is where we're fucking heading. Okay? The people, some of the people that are coming after me, the majority of them are super racist. Okay? They're super, super racist. You can just tell that these motherfuckers are racist as... They're, they're the perfect definition of what you call racism. You know, all they're missing is their whip and their, their African slaves that are trained up behind them. I'm telling you, they're the same fucking lot. They're from the same stock, these people. And that's, I reckon, what they wanted to go back to. And anyone that can see where it's going and has a brain and, or half a fucking brain, yeah? Oh, that monkey's not, not allowed to be that smart. We've got to get rid of him. We've got to lock him up. Even to this day, I haven't done anything wrong. Haven't at attacked anyone. Yeah, I've had a go at people verbally. But fuck, I'm a normal human being. I have that right. Anyways, my people, perpetrators, you have taught me so much about life. In this last year, I've learned so much and super fast. It's like I've been on a roller coaster bloody lesson, just <laughs> crash coursing it, you know, or the whole way through. You know, people think that I'm I'm intelligent and I'm a lot. They think I'm a lot smarter than what I actually am. So they've given me more credit than what I deserve. I don't need to be watched the way I'm being watched. Okay? That's not right. It's an invasion of my privacy and my, my inalienable rights to be a human being, to walk around freely, without restrictions, to live my life without influence. These are my rights. These are my birthrights as a, as a, as a man. Okay? I... You know, if I'm, the, I'm not the only person that's going through this, so I feel with other people that are going through this. But, you know, the funny thing is, in Australia, it, I haven't come across anyone that's close to me that I can <clears throat> hook up with. That's another target individual. I mean, I think in Australia, this program is a lot more tight in comparison to other countries. they got things down pat here. It's more like a quarantine zone in Australia where the, 
you know, they're, they're, they're really suppressing the conscious awakening and people questioning what's going on and disagreeing and, and exercising their rights and whatnot. Now, I know that people say, what are you talking about? You know, you've done heinous things. You're, you're this, this and that. I don't care what people think I am or what I've done. I know what I have and haven't done. Okay? So, you can think what you want. You can believe what people tell you. It's, it's totally up to you. But, you know... All I say is not not for my situation, but just for your situation and your life in general. You should always come up with your own conclusions and your own understanding. Don't look at what someone says. Oh, look at what trait he's got, and then you see something similar uh, in public, and you say, "Yeah, that the person that was speaking to me was right." You know, I've seen it in him. Well, what did you see? You seen me uh, give a, a reaction or whatnot? That doesn't point out anything. That doesn't highlight anything. That doesn't confirm anything. Okay. Until evidence has been presented forward to a magistrate or a judge or a jury and they come up with their conclusion, well, I'm innocent. 